And we are on storm watch first at 11 tonight and real time Doppler radar very active on this stormy Wednesday night across South Florida. We are also tracking the tropics and tropical depression 16 possibly a threat for Florida in the coming days. Let's get right to chief meteorologist Craig Setzer tracking everything for us now. Craig. That's right. Pretty busy night out there. We'll start off with the depression first. The 11 o'clock advisory is in. It's moving to the northwest about six miles an hour and this slow motion is expected over the next day or so impacting Nicaragua but likely limiting the development of it because uh, while it's over land or at least encountering some land there, it probably won't grow too much. Forecast to become a tropical storm, though, by tomorrow evening. And then it begins to speed up a little bit. So between Thursday evening and Friday evening, it makes some pretty good progress to the northwest. Still forecast to be a tropical storm, then to the Gulf of Mexico, where it does have the opportunity to strengthen. In fact, it could be strengthening this whole way over water. This is the Saturday uh, 7 p.m. time position. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the track at this time has shifted a little bit to the left here, a little bit to the west. A lot of the computer models this evening are continuing to go a little more west. While that is making Florida feel better, it's making New Orleans feel not as good because uh, these points have gotten closer to New Orleans tonight. The forecast point here on Sunday evening now, which is also slower, is uh, near the panhandle there and then on to the northeast a weakening tropical system. The values that we look at, these uh, wind speed values, they have gone up substantially in New Orleans now, uh, running around 32 percent, still pretty high in Pensacola, but they've gone down in Tallahassee as well as in Tampa, and they're very, very low here. So I think the main effects we'll see here in South Florida, barring a, a huge unexpected track shift, would be just some heavy thunderstorms here, nothing exceptional. Here's the way the system looks tonight. You can see it spinning down there, but what we're watching tonight is this big mess just off uh, to our east and starting to come on shore now and make its way over South Florida. Complex tropical system. Several elements of this. This area here is a lot of storms. It's heading in our general direction. We have these bands now coming through with very gusty winds and very heavy rainfall, and this is going to prompt some flooding as we go through the night. Also, the keys getting nailed by some of these heavier bands. So a flood watch is in effect through the night tonight and through the day tomorrow, even into tomorrow night. Through the night tonight, heavy storms, gusty winds, stormy periods tomorrow, some flooding downpours. As we go through the end of the week, we'll be watching as what is to become Nate moves north in the Gulf of Mexico, well west of us. More on that in our local forecast ahead.